a 300 kilo squat, the way I want to do it is pretty much impossible in my eyes right now. Um, just seems like a such a far, far thing to attain. 180 bench press, less impossible, but still kind of really, really advanced level bench press. Um, 300 kilo squat, uh, deadlift rather, seems like very much possible and very uh, in my grasp over the next few years. That's how I feel. So squat, impossible, bench, kind of impossible, deadlift, possible. That's the three lifts which I kind of penned down all these years ago um, as goals which I wanted to achieve. Secondary goals, 30 dead hang pull-ups. I think that's possible. Uh, lots and lots of work, but I think it would be possible. 100 push-ups in a row. I think that's also possible. Uh, I haven't really done any any major work in recent times on these secondary goals because I've been so consumed by the, the first goal, really. Um, and kind of as a second thought, the deadlift. Uh, bench press and all the other secondary stuff, I've, I haven't really given it much thought or, or plan in the in the recent kind of memory. Um, there's a few other things which I find really attractive and really, you know, worthy of, of pursuit. Um, we all have different ideas on, on what would be really cool. Some of you guys love to do the, the front planche. I think it's called the planche, planche, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's a few other kind of calisthenics type movements which people, you know, would love to do. Muscle ups is one thing which I think is really, really cool. But one thing which I don't talk about often at all, and something that I've always had respect uh, about, is doing splits. I think splits are really cool in my eyes, really, really cool, especially for men. I don't know why, but I always felt like, you know, men getting to that flexibility is very, very difficult. You know, I feel like women have a closer affinity to flexibility uh, than men. Uh, men hold more muscle, in gener in, in, generally speaking, and those muscles are kind of like stiffer, and, and I don't know. I feel like there's a, it's like an opposite to strength flexibility, you know, although it's not necessarily true when you, there's, there's been lots and lots of people who can do splits. Like I've seen Kai Green do splits. I've seen muscle monsters being, you know, doing splits, and these guys are supreme strength athletes as well. Um, so that's a that's a false thing to think, but I don't know if, if too many guys do stretching, you know, on, on the kind of generally speaking. I, I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of guys that can do splits who also squat lots and lots of weight. But that's one thing that I've always had respect about. And out of all of the goals that I've kind of mentioned, flexibility, there's no genetic limiter to that. It's just work. It's just work. You, you could probably say the same thing to you know, in regards to push-ups and the pull-ups, is just work. The 300 kilo squat, that's like such advanced level strength that I don't think too many people will be able to get there uh, at a reasonable weight. Sure, if I ate like a freaking maniac and blew my weight to 150, 160 kilos, okay, maybe it's more possible in that sense. But I'm talking about in a normal body weight, you know, somebody that's, you know, normal build, you know, not you know, crazy overweight or, or jumping on gear and putting on absurd amount of muscle. Like those people, I don't really compare myself to those because those are not things that I will ever do. Uh, so can I ever get to, a, you know, a 300 kilo squat at 100 kilos, 105 kilo body weight? Just seems very, very uh, almost impossible. I, I'm still going to go for it and I'm not changing my tune. Uh, I still value the squat as the most important thing to my training career. That's that's the meat and potatoes of my thinking. But when it comes to all these other goals, I think flexibility is a thing that, man, you can, you can stretch all the time, man. Like, you, you don't have to, you know, stretch three times a week or, you know, obviously we can't hit peak squat routines and we can't hit five by five every single day, but you can stretch every single day. Um, some would probably argue, and I'm not a you know authority when it comes to stretching by any means, but some would argue that you know a hard course stretching session will uh, induce a lot of muscle damage and it will require you to recover for a few days. Um, but generally speaking, you know, static stretching while you're watching the TV 
it can contribute to your recovery, it can contribute to, you know, how you feel, how you sleep even, um, and it doesn't really tax you, you know, you're not working hard while stretching, um, obviously there's different types of stretching, there's PNF stretching, which you are working, but this is something that popped into my head as I was kind of lying down on the couch, still not being able to train properly, you know, day two of COVID, whatnot, blah, 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 blah. You, you know, you kind of sit there and you think to yourself, could I be doing something that's productive right now? Even though I'm not in a capacity to train for strength, train for power, speed, I'm very much limited to what I can do. So I started stretching. You know, stretching is, is kind of feeding my desire to do something, to feel productive in some sense. Some sense. So I started doing that. And uh, I got to say, man, it does feel good. It does feel good. I know there's a huge movement of yoga out there. People love doing yoga. They, they swear by it. You know, it helps with digestion, sleep, um, posture. Like it does a lot, a lot of stuff. And, you know, I, I'm not an expert in yoga, but yoga is more than just stretching, man. Like I remember once I went to a, years ago, a friend invited me to come along with him uh, to a yoga. It was a Bikram yoga. The class was called Hot Flow or something like this. Very hot in the room. whole bunch of people lined up. Um, my God, that was difficult, man. So, like, within minutes, we started doing something called the Downward Dog, where you basically, how do I explain it? It's like a push-up position with your butt straight up in the air. So you're like a triangle. And you're holding this position, you're kind of stretching into it. Man, I was the first one to give up out of all the people in the room. I just couldn't hold the position couldn't hold it like you know when you're doing weights you're repping it out you're not holding statically i'm very weak um so i know yoga is more than just stretching but it's you know it's something that i've been thinking about in the last few days because i can't do my normal work um i, I don't want to say because I, I i tend to make these types of claims and then i move away from them as soon as i get back to my normal but i, I want to say that I'd love to be able to do splits. Now, in, in, in all the times before where I've had these feelings and I've kind of gone for it, I always felt weaker. I always felt weaker when I was stretched a lot. I, I felt like my numbers on the bar would just decrease. I would feel weaker. I would feel like I've been taxed out by the stretching. For whatever the mechanism behind that is and what the cause is and the intricacies, it makes me weaker. But... Out of all the goals that I freaking have, I think getting splits is probably the most attainable and there's no genetic component to it. So I value it, I respect it, and I think I would be very, very happy if I, if I could do splits. Uh, I think the whole idea with splits comes from, you know, watching Van Damme, you know, back in the day, man, like, oh my Lord, the martial artists, you know, it's, it's I always felt like those people just feel happy. Because there's no tension in the hips. You know what I mean? Like most people walk around and their range of motion is basically with the walking. Very, very poor range of motion. Imagine you had the range to go into a split. Walking is no piece of cake, man. Getting up off a chair is a piece of cake. I swear like my, my squatting would be a lot better if I was able to do splits, middle and front. Anyway, something to think about, something that I've been doing while watching TV and recovering from COVID. Um, sitting there just doing groin stretches, quad stretches hamstring stretches, passes the time and I feel like I'm doing something. be interesting to hear from you guys how many of you guys can actually do splits, if anyone at all. I mean, this is communities about squatting, deadlifting, benching and whatever, but how many of you guys actually meaningfully stretch for length? It'd be interesting to, to, to hear that. Appreciate all of you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.